If you're looking to scrape Airbnb market data, why not just scrape it from the scrapers like AirDNA? In this video, I'll show you how to record the raw Airbnb listings data that AirDNA sends to your browser as you use their website legally. To get started, head to AirDNA where you can create a free account. You'll only be able to scrape what you legally have access to. So on a free account, it's not very much. But if you want to access more data, you can just upgrade your account. Their prices are pretty reasonable. You'll be able to scrape, I mean record for legal reasons, any of this dynamic data sent to your browser. So here I'm going to pick Las Vegas and show you how to record all of these listings here sent to your browser. You'll be able to get the listing names, locations, and any other information like the financials that are presented to you on your account. If you pay them, you can upgrade and unlock submarkets, which is pretty useful, but we're not going to do that here because I just have a free account. You can also apply any of these special filters, and you get more filters if you upgrade to a paid account, I believe. Now to record these listings, I right click on the page and hit inspect. Now I'm recording the raw data that AirDNA sends to my browser. For legal reasons, I'm not scraping their service, they're sending the data to me and I'm passively recording it through the web browser. Now I reload the page to force them to send me all the listings data back to my browser. And I can go down here in this filter under the network tab and type in listings to see what's going on. This step is optional, I'm just showing you guys how this thing works. Then sort by size descending and you'll see this huge payload here is about seven megabytes. It has 10,000 listings even though I barely browsed through the first page. So like I said, I'm not scraping them. They sent this data to me. I didn't ask them for 10,000 listings. This is just their default behavior. And if I click that copy button in Chrome, I can get this entire JSON payload into a text file here for private research purposes. Now, if you want this data in CSV format, click this down arrow here called export HAR, and this will save a HAR file to your computer containing all this recorded data. Then click the link in the description to see my no-code AirDNA API scraper featuring the HAR file web scraper. There's also a quick write up here if you prefer to look at that instead. Now simply drag and drop your HAR file to this HAR file web scraper embedded on the page and it will auto-magically parse out the data into downloadable files. Here are all the listings we browse. And like I said, we just want to look for the largest payload because I send 10,000 of them for some reason. So that's this one here at 6.49 megabytes. I can download that here and quickly get that JSON file I showed you earlier. To convert this to CSV format, you can click this parse group button here, which will combine everything together. But since we have basically all 10,000 and only that one request, I'm going to click parse JSON here on this individual request. And that converted that huge JSON blob into a downloadable CSV file with 10,000 listings. So that's half of the entire Las Vegas market. I can download all of them if I keep scrolling through the results, but that would take a long time. But let me know in the comments if you'd like me to do that. Here's the data in Excel. Another benefit about scraping that only one request and not trying to combine them is we don't have to worry about duplicates here because everything should be deduplicated. But if you do combine multiple requests into a single group, be sure to deduplicate this using some of the ID columns I'll get to next. So I can see here I have 10,000 listings from Las Vegas and I literally just loaded one web page from AirDNA. Now let's walk through the columns we get back. Here's the title of the Airbnb listing, the property D. So some of these are from Verbo as well. So be on the lookout for that if you want to get data from Verbo. We can see the listing type if it's the entire place, private or shared room, number of bedrooms, number of bathrooms, number of people it can accommodate and so forth. You can see the average review and the number of reviews. This only has one review, which is not great. These revenue numbers, I have no idea what they mean because I have a free account, they don't show them, but it looks like they probably refer to this revenue potential and or days available. So if you have a paid account, you could potentially cross-reference them, but since I don't think they're supposed to be showing for this, I don't want to insinuate anything, so just ignore them. But AirDNA, if you're watching, you may want to start hiding this data for free accounts. And the rest of this data is pretty standard, just the market ID, which is all going to be the same because this is all in Las Vegas, and we can get the latitude and longitude coordinates. And we get a URL to the image. I'm pretty sure these are hosted on Airbnb and Verbo because I recognize these domain names. So I guess Airbnb is okay with AirDNA just giving people the links to their images and embedding them on their website. I do want to talk about a few legal disclaimers here because I did accept AirDNA's terms of service to sign up for a free account. So they prohibit automated scraping, which I totally agree with. But as I showed you, we just use the website normally and they just sent us all this data to our browser. And then they use more broad language here, like I'm not allowed to copy anything, which I find ridiculous, but they don't use the word record, which is all we were doing. And I'd argue that Google Chrome was the one who did the recording and not me. But in all seriousness, the big thing I think they care about is republishing. And I agree with them. Like they don't want people to scrape their data and republish it. They also don't want people to load it into AI or machine learning models. 
violate intellectual property, so republishing would be copyright infringement, do anything otherwise crazy. But look, if you just use this for your own private internal research, they have no way to detect this recording is going on in the first place, and as long as you don't republish this data anywhere else, I don't see how this could be a big deal. But if you do violate these terms, they could ban you without notice, so I'm sure I'll probably get banned or maybe even a cease and desist letter from AirDNA, which is unfortunate because my original intention was to show you guys how to use their official AirDNA Enterprise API, because they do offer an API to do this sort of stuff I think you guys would be interested in. So you can collect data about market data or individual listings using their official API with their blessing. My only issue with this is that it's very closed down. It's not self-service. You have to manually contact their sales team and I'm sure it'll quote you a ridiculous price just to access this API. So I don't feel so bad about showing you guys how to intercept their traffic and record it for whatever private usages you deem worthy. And lastly, if they're gonna come down on me for scraping against their terms, I think it's ironic and that they publicly admit that their service is powered by scraped data directly from Airbnb and Verbo. Now they do claim that this scraping is legal and they have pre-existing relationships with Airbnb and Verbo, which is strong and mutual, but I'm sure it wasn't the case in the beginning. When they got started, I'm sure they just scraped a bunch of data and then got in trouble, but eventually worked things out. So I don't know why they need to use such strong language in their terms to disencourage scraping of their own data, which is scraped from other sources. So please don't sue me, AirDNA. If anything, I'm just trying to encourage more people to use your product and upgrade for these little extras. Because remember, if you upgrade to a paid plan on AirDNA, you can also access this data using the methodology I just showed you in this video. And their pricing is pretty reasonable if you're considering spending hundreds of thousands of dollars on property investing. I think $85 a month is not that bad. And you can also inquire about their API. Let me know in the comments if you do and what kind of pricing they quote you. I'd be curious to know. So thanks for watching. Hope you found this useful. Also, you can use the horror file web scraper to scrape Airbnb directly using a very similar approach. Check out this next video on how to scrape Airbnb listings. Thanks for watching, have a wonderful day.